Miss Honey. Matilda was a little late in starting school. Most children begin primary school at five or even just before, but Matilda's parents, who weren't very concerned one way or the other about their daughter's education, had forgotten to make the proper arrangements in advance. She was five and a half when she entered school for the first time. The village school for younger children was a bleak brick building called Crunsham Hall Primary School. It had about two hundred and fifty pupils, aged from five to just under twelve years old. The head teacher, the boss, the supreme commander of this establishment, was a formidable middle-aged lady whose name was Miss Trunchbull. Naturally, Matilda was put in the bottom class, where there were eighteen other small boys and girls about the same age as her. Their teacher was called Miss Honey, and she could not have been more than twenty-three or twenty-four. She had a lovely pale oval Madonna face, with blue eyes, and her hair was light brown. Her body was so slim and fragile, one got the feeling that if she fell over, she would smash into a thousand pieces, like a porcelain figure. Miss Jennifer Honey was a mild and quiet person, who never raised her voice, and was seldom seen to smile. But there is no doubt she possessed that rare gift for being adored by every small child under her care. She seemed to understand totally the bewilderment and fear that so often overwhelms young children who, for the first time in their lives, are herded into a classroom and told to obey orders. Some curious warmth that was almost tangible. Shone out of Miss Honey's face when she spoke to a confused and homesick newcomer to the class. Miss Trunchbull, the headmistress, was something else altogether. She was a gigantic, holy terror, a fierce, tyrannical monster who frightened the life out of the pupils and teachers alike. There was an aura of menace about her, even at a distance. And when she came up close, you could almost feel the dangerous heat radiating from her, as from a red-hot rod of metal. When she marched, Miss Trunchbull never walked. She always marched, like a storm trooper, with long strides and arms a-swinging. When she marched along a corridor, you could actually hear her snorting as she went. And if a group of children happened to be in her path, She ploughed right on through them like a tank, with small people bouncing off her to left and right. Thank goodness we don't meet many people like her in this world, although they do exist, and all of us are likely to come across at least one of them in a lifetime. If you ever do, you should behave as you would if you met an enraged rhinoceros out in the bush. Climb up the nearest tree. And stay there until it has gone away. This woman, in all her eccentricities and in her appearance, is almost impossible to describe. But I shall make some attempt to do so a little later on. Let us leave her for the moment and go back to Matilda and her first day in Miss Honey's class. <laughs> 